Hey y'all! So today I am going to be testing out the new Temp2 airbrush system. Um, it's an airbrush makeup system and they were kind enough to send me um, a set to um, review the product. So I'm going to try it out right now. Um, I've already tried out their foundation just like a few minutes previous um, to filming this just to try it out and see how it goes and everything. So the highlight and the, um, and the blush that I'm going to put on, like that's completely new to me so I'm not really sure if I um, am going to get it right. But um, I've applied the foundation already and I really do um, think it's very interesting. Um, it seems the foundation went on very um, precise and it, you can build the coverage with it. So I'm going to show you guys um, how to put on the foundation first. So, um, but I have put on a little bit already. <clears throat> Just so y'all know that first. So, um, here's, I'll show you the kit. And there's like a how-to video when you first purchase it. Um, and they also have it on like Sephora.com. They have like a how-to video how to set, set this all up and everything. This is what it looks like. Well, this thing. I'm like all kinds of, I don't even know. I'm not an expert at this thing, but. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> so this is like the um, like the docking station where you put like your airbrush thing. And um, back here, there's like a knob. And this knob um, down. If you turn the knob more down, that gives you a uh, more coverage. And if you like turn it up more, it'll be a lower coverage. But they recommend that you start off with like a medium coverage, so it'd be right in the middle, in between less and more. If y'all can see that. So yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah. At the top of it, right here, that's the start button. There's like a power button right there, and then that's when the air will start coming out. And um, product actually doesn't come out right when you press start. It's just the air that's pumping out. You have to press um this button right here, like you pull back on it and that releases the product. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll do another video for you guys whenever I'm, you know, I've used it more and I'm more comfortable with it, but for right now, don't mind me stumbling over this. So this is the um, foundation AirPod and I've already opened it before so I'll have to, on the highlight and the blush, I'll show you how to, you know, when you first open it. Um, this is what it looks like. And this one, um, I am a nat it's under natural, I think it's like number seven, um, the foundation color. And um, just for reference sake, in MAC, I'm a NC37. So yeah. So whenever you're putting it in, you're going to press this side button. And you just slide the foundation in. There you go. So then you're going to press that start button and um, hold it for four to six inches away from your face and you're going to do circular motions when you apply your foundation. So anyways, like I said, this is my second time using it um, in the last five minutes. So we'll see how it goes. So it's going to make a lot of noise, just to let you know whenever I start it. So here we go. So you can hear like the air is coming out of it. So that's pretty interesting. So like there's no actual product coming out, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. But if I pull back on this lever, product starts coming out. See? So yeah, anyways, I just wasted some, but that's alright. Not a big deal. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so hold it four to six inches away from your face, and you're going to pull back on that lever. Oh, I got one really And I think I've done this side a lot already today. So just you're going to do circular motions. And you, if you're wondering if you can, if it's actually coming out, you can actually smell it, like, it's a really nice smell, it's like almost baby powdery. So yeah, so you want to just do circular motions around your face until you get the desired coverage. And like I said, I've already um, applied the foundation like five minutes ago, so I'm not going to do any more than that. Um, but I do believe that the coverage, don't mind my face because kind of, I'm kind of jacked right now. I've been stressing over 
stressing over exams and stuff like that. So my face isn't the greatest shape, but I it does look um, pretty flawless. Um, the coverage goes on almost as like just as well as if like you're using a um, stippling brush to apply your foundation. It's just as well in my opinion. Just take this. Out. I have to press that button again, but I. This is the hard part. I had trouble with this earlier too. Oh, oh, okay. Well, cam, cam part. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna say. You know, always make sure to make sure to cover that up. Always put it back in there. So yeah, that's the um, foundation part of it. Um, also, another good thing about the um, Temp2 airbrush system is that you're not using any brushes, and that's one of the things that they were they were. Um, stressing or it stresses in the product so that you're not using any brushes so it's like all you know there's not any bacteria that's being left over on your brushes or anything like that so that's pretty cool um so I'm going to try out the blush now this I have not used so when you first get the product foundation or blush or whatever it has like a uh, plastic covering on the tip and you're just going to peel that off My nails are chipping again. I just painted them and they're chipping. It's because they're not strong after my... I had those like solar nails on for the longest time, so they're not strong anymore. Anyways, they're getting there, but yeah, besides the point. So just open that up. And then um, when you first open it, there's... Um, right here, that's where like it connects when you connect your airbrush system to it. That's where it gets like the product out. Um, when you first get it, there's it's not open. Um, so if you look inside your cap, there's like something taped in there. You're gonna take that tape thing out. Looks like this. Oh, let me get that tape off. Yeah, it looks like this. And you're going to just poke poke in there. Like you're, mm -hmm. I was gonna say something bad, but I'm not gonna say it. If y'all know me, then you know what I was thinking, but it's like you're popping a balloon. You're popping a balloon. So, yeah. Um, noodles. So, yeah, so you can actually see there's some product that comes out on it, and that just ensures that, um, you know, the product's going to come out. And I forgot what this blush is. Let me see. This blush color is soft peach that I chose. Um, so, then you're all ready to just put it in your system. Again, press that button. And just slide it on in. Slide on in. Okay, there we go. So, sliding on in. And um, I'm going to, because I turned it off earlier, I'm going to put this to a lower setting. Just in case. I don't want to screw up. So I put it on, like, up here. That's the lower setting, so I put it up there. Okie dokie. And um, the video says that you want to try, you want to move from... My hair is not working with me today. You want to um, go from the forward to the back. Forward to the back. Why can't I talk today? You're going to go from the front to the back, working your way like that. For, and keep it like four to six inches away. And you're holding like this thing, the um, airbrush, like I, I'll cut, call it a pen. The airbrush pen part. I don't know what it's actually called. Probably have like a little blurb thingy that says what it's called, but you're gonna hold it like you're like when you're writing, like with a pen. That's when you pull this back to have the product come out less or more. Like the more you pull back on it, the more product comes out, the less you do, the less product comes out. So yeah. Anyways, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start from the front to the back. I'm not pulling anything yet, but I need to look, so. So we're gonna try this and see how this goes. So I am pulling on the thing. And you can smell it. Like, I smell it coming out, and it smells real good. I can't explain what it's... It really does smell good. It smells like a powdery fresh smell. Baby powder fresh. So yeah, there's the blush. I think that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty natural, and um, I think I screwed up on this cheek, but that's my fault because this is my first time. 
but yeah. So it just comes off and gives just like a nice little blush right there. This is the highlighter. I am using gold highlighter. And this I'm really excited about actually. I've, I've been looking forward more to the highlighter than anything else. Crazy, huh? God, just opening these things. I feel like a monkey trying to open up like a coconut or something. I don't know. Lord have mercy. Open. Open sesame. Holy camoly, people. I feel like a dummy not being able to open this stuff. I know, Juicy. I'm trying to open it. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I had Mike open the highlighter one because I was super hard to open. Um, I don't know if that's all of them, but that one was definitely hard. Juicy's coming up here now. Hi, Juicy. Okay, so I'm going to try this highlighter. Oh, I just push that in. Okay, and then I'm going to do C-motion shapes right from my top of my temple to my cheekbones. Like that. And it's on a low setting. So here we go. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I think um, it'll probably take, you know, if you first purchase the system, it'll might you might have to get used to it. Just with like, you know, getting used to anything, applying makeup or anything like that. This is something that's different. So um, even I'm not, I'm not used to it at all. It's my first time using all this stuff. Um, but it definitely seems pretty easy. I think, you know, it'll be something that I can get the hang of. Like definitely the foundation one, um, even though I did it, like, right before filming this. Um, the second time seemed a lot easier, like, just because I knew what I was doing, um, doing afterwards. Um, so, yeah, from what I looked online, just to get information on them, it looks like they're only being carried at Sephora currently. Um, I'm not quite sure. I guess they they probably have um, a website themselves, but at Sephora.com, um, they have the system. The system and the makeup they're separate, so it is a little bit on the pricey side. Um, but I do think that if you if this is something that you actually really like and you'd want to stick with and use, it could be something that would you know the cost and the benefits would outweigh themselves pretty much for um, the economic and accounting and finance majors out there. So I wanted to throw out some terms. Um, so yeah, the airbrush system, this by itself, it doesn't come with any makeup. This is like $225. Yeah, that's really pricey. Like I don't think that um, I would have been able to try this out unless they had, if they hadn't sent me this to um, review for them. So it is kind of pricey, um, I must admit. Uh, but I do like the results, so I'm just going to throw that out there. The foundation, it comes with um, two in the box, like this. There's another one, like a replacement one in there. And I think this is 55 for foundation. There's, I believe there's two of them that comes with each of them, so um, that's a pretty good price, I believe, you know, because foundation itself is, there's some foundations that range out there. I bought, like, Giorgio Armani foundation for, like, 50-something, so that was just one thing, and yeah. Um, the highlighter, I believe the highlighter was more expensive than the blush. It was 35 I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be putting up like little tabby things all over the place, but I'm pretty sure this was 35 And the blush is 30 So, yeah, and the colors that I got in foundation was 7 Natural. The blush was Soft Peach. And the highlighter was Gold. And um, I chose those because I thought those would be the best ones that would or complement my skin tone. So yeah, so to wrap up, um, it seems like a pretty easy system. You know, you might have to use it a couple times before you're really, really comfortable with it. But it's not something that's like completely um, hard to hard to do. Um, also, since it's airbrush, it definitely gives you like this flawless quality to your um, foundation. Like it goes on because you're not like you just have a lot more control with it, and it's just going in the right spots. I don't know. But it looks really nice, really flawless. Um, it's just almost as if I'm doing, using like one of my 187 brushes, like a stipple brush or something. It's 
going on just like that. Um, you're not using a brush, so uh, you're not transferring bacteria to your face, and you're not having to clean anything. Um, yeah, but it is on the pricey side. That's one thing that you know I would, I would definitely um, keep in mind. Um, but since it's the holiday season coming up, maybe you can ask for like a Christmas present from your parents or from your significant other or whoever. Um, so that would be something that, you know, if you really want it, that would definitely be something to ask for for Christmas. Um, and yeah, and this actually has a one year limited warranty. I believe it's not on the website. Um, but yeah, if you guys you know, um, are interested in something like that, I would definitely go and check out like Sephora, go go over there and ask some questions about it because um, this is like the first like airbrush kit that I've seen that you know like you can take home, like anybody can use it, it's not just like some professional person using it or anything. So that's pretty cool and I'm not a professional so yeah, so that's pretty cool I think. Um, anyways, yeah, so I hope this is a helpful review and I'm sure and the next few weeks I'll probably do another video showing you guys how to do it once I'm more familiar with it but for now it's just you know so y'all can see me try it out um yeah so I will talk to y'all soon peace